Yeah, we're not doing a skit today. We're just getting straight into it. Black belts don't matter. I get it, I get it. You are proud of your accomplishment and you worked hard for it and you should be proud about that without a doubt. But in reality, a black belt does not mean what most people think it means. And if you don't agree, just take a seat and let's get into it. What's up guys, it's the old ninja wearing aviator and a superhero hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja YouTube channel. And for those of you that may have just joined this channel or don't really know much about me, one, welcome to the Modern Ninja, it's good to have you. And two, I'm actually a black belt myself, several times over in fact, specifically a third degree in Tung Sudo and a first degree in Taekwondo. I have some other training in various other styles as well, but I'm not going to waste your time with that, especially because I'm pretty sure right now half of you are already jumping down in the comment section trying your best to say why your black belt is different than the normal black belt or why black belts matter. And uh, as long as you drop a like or dislike or, you know, comment or whatever, I appreciate it. But the reason I'm saying black belts don't matter is not because people don't work hard for it. I know I worked hard for it, and I know other people who have worked incredibly hard for it, so that's not it at all. I am saying this because most people think that a black belt is the end-all, be-all of all martial arts. It's essentially the Mjolnir of martial arts. Whoever holds this belt shall possess the power of Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan. And it really does not work like that. At least it doesn't anymore. Typically, a belt is simply a way to categorize how much someone knows about the martial art they decided to learn. And that goes for all belts. White, green, red, yellow. It's all just different stages of people in their martial arts journey. And to be quite honest with you, black isn't even the top level. Yeah, I know, super shocking, but I'm serious. If we like correlate belts to a normal schooling, here's how it would go. White belts is basically like kindergarten. You're just getting started. You don't really even know how to color in the lines or know what shape goes in what hole, but you're just getting started. And for martial arts terms, you're learning how to make a fist. You're learning how to keep your hands up, things like that. And as you progress throughout the ranks, you learn more and more and more and get better and better and better learning your basics. And then you eventually hit red belt or whatever belt is super close to your black belt. Many schools will actually have you sit at that rank for a year or more just to make sure your fundamentals are solid. And when you finally graduate to a black belt, it's just like graduating high school. No, it doesn't mean you're now the ultimate killing machine. You're not Jet Li incarnate. It's literally just the equivalent of getting a high school diploma. Now it's great that you got there. It is absolutely achievement. Getting your high school diploma and getting your black belt are both things that I think everyone should do. It is, it is fantastic. But that's definitely not the top tier on the smartest people in the world. That's definitely not the most skilled people in the world. That is just your basics. Then it's time to go to college now that you have your basics that every lifelong martial artist should know. And it's time to get your second, third, and fourth degrees learning more and more at each step. Or you can learn an entirely different style of martial arts. Maybe you've done something like like uh, Taekwondo or Tong Sudo and switching to something more soft like Kung Fu. Great idea. Vary yourself, learn more, and you'll be better at martial arts as a whole. Or maybe you want to focus on different aspects of the martial arts that you already trained in. Maybe that's competitions or stunt fighting for movies. Or maybe you want to join the UFC or PFL one day, so getting into MMA is the route for you. Or you can do what I suggest every martial artist should do, teach. Teaching is truly an amazing way to make yourself better. You will get asked questions that you never really thought about, and you'll be forced to take the techniques that you know how to do and break it down step by step so that other people can understand it that aren't quite at the level that you are at. This can challenge how you think about martial arts as a whole and will make you better because of it. And just like college, you can get your master's and continue past that. So literally, there is no limit to how good and how much you're martial arts training can evolve and learn and change as long as you keep going after black belt because at the end of the day having a black belt isn't what makes someone a good or bad martial artist it's all about your training how much time you put in how hard you work at it and that's why in my experience i find that when lifelong martial artists meet each other they ask things like what style of martial arts do you train how long have you trained where have you trained because that's more 
um, concrete and more determining and more identifying for how good you are as a martial artist than whether or not you earned a black belt. But I know I've held you guys at bay long enough, so go down in the comments and tell me if you agree or not. Do you think black belts are the end all be all? Do you think black belts are just a step in your martial arts journey? What are your thoughts? I'd love to read them down in the comments. And just a reminder, for all of these conversations, be respectful to each other. Also letting you guys know, I have a Patreon now, so if you're into the shout outs and getting early videos and all those other special things, check out the links down below in the description. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. If you like this video, check out this one about the best martial arts style, or this one that YouTube thinks you'll like also. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next one.